Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Well, this is just a little square, little uh, framing square, I believe it's called. And what I wanted to talk about was how do you make a right angle if you don't have one of these? A long time ago, I was trying to lay out something on a piece of concrete. I wanted to make a sculpture, and I wanted to make sure it was going to come out square and straight. But this sculpture was going to be, oh, probably six and a half foot tall, and it was going to be pushing probably 36 inches or 48 inches wide. And I didn't know how to do that. How would you lay that out? How would you make that all come out exactly square and straight so when you stood it up, it didn't lean off to one angle? Well, my neighbor came over and he showed me a trick, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. And it's really a very easy formula to remember. It's just three numbers, like three, four, five. You just want to get on the, you know, make believe this is the ground or wherever you're working. But let's just go four inches on one leg, and we're going to go three inches on another leg, and then you can come from that first leg, and if your five inch mark winds up at the top of the three inch mark, everything connects, all your dots connect here, that just means that's a square angle. And I'm pretty sure this will work with any set of numbers. You know, three, four, five, you know, eight, nine, ten, you know, however high up you want to go, however big of a square you want to make, so whatever you're trying to put together and line up, you've got a guideline to go off of. So really good little trick to remember. Three, four, five. That's all you gotta remember. So I want to thank my neighbor Doug for showing me this little trick. I want to apologize to my math teacher, Mr. Inman. I know you tried to explain this at one point, just go on, sorry. And I appreciate you guys all watching. Why don't you reach over there and hit that like button for me, and I'll see you next time. So like I said, three, that's backwards for you, isn't it?